Hey everybody, I'm Billy Mitchell with FedScoop TV today at the Security Through Innovation Summit. I'm with Sean Wells, Chief Security Strategist for Red Hat. Sean, how are you doing today? It's great. Great, great to have you here. We're going to talk a little bit about everything cybersecurity, the pressing topic on everybody's mind in the federal government. Um, so we want to jump right into it today and ask, how are you guys at Red Hat kind of helping the government improve its cybersecurity posture? I know it's a big question, but would love to just dive into your insights a little bit. Uh, so at Red Hat, we believe in developing technology the open source way, and, and we can define that as really building communities of shared purpose and to solve shared problems. Mm -hmm. So we've done things like create open source projects to automate security compliance. So why do we still have to validate security controls for the STIG or for FISMA? Why not create automation technology that spans NIST and DOD and FedCiv and put that natively into our technologies to, to just eradicate kind of the hassle that has been security compliance? Yeah, and we'll get back to automation more in a second, but um, before that, we want to talk a little bit, we hear a lot about it today, uh, private-public partnerships or public-private partnerships, however you want to put it, um, sure. the importance to those in the federal government. So was just wondering um, what needs to be done to kind of mature or improve those uh, partnership models? I think at, at the technology development layer, uh, people are still a little challenged on getting permission to collaborate with industry. Government staff are not quite sure, can they contribute source code to open source projects? Mm -hmm. Are they allowed to talk about their business problems or even more their mission problems? So we have started to see from the top down, uh, the Chinner General Cordon spoke at AUSA this year and really issued al almost an edict, a mandate, for people to start participating, collaborating. It's okay to develop technology jointly. Um, but as we move forward, having that message being brought forth at the, at the middle management tiers, I think, mm -hmm. will help. And we've started to see that in some stories, uh, again with the Army, where they're actually beginning to open source their cybersecurity curriculum, where they're pulling in people from Harvard and MIT, uh, industry like Accenture and Booz Allen, and developing curriculum on like, what should the cyber soldier be? What knowledge demands do they have to master? And it's, it's one of the first areas that I've seen where it's becoming tangible, it's real, there's excitement, there's community, and I think there, there just needs to be a little bit more of that. Yeah, so you mentioned you guys are big on automation at Red Hat, um, mm -hmm. but on the government side, how do you see agencies adopting that? Is there a lot of adoption that you've seen so far? In pockets. pockets. So one of the things that is nice, we have different agencies like the CIA with their C2S environment, where they're beginning to accelerate application development through Agile or through DevOps, and they're realizing that in order to achieve the velocity of Agile development, different processes have to be automated. And that could be from provisioning base infrastructure, like servers, routers, hypervisors, to automating security compliance. And it's become this for mission, has become this forcing function to drive automation beyond just security into infrastructure provisioning that I would argue is becoming unparalleled as people begin to trust the technologies that, that perform it. Okay, and wrapping up here, just um, you know, may maybe one or two things that government agencies should focus on to just continue improving the security of their enterprise. Focus to continue improvement. Um, we talked a little bit about collaboration. So to pull that thread, we have these areas of the intelligence community coined the term to do in common what is commonly done. Yep. And we've began to see these communities develop, whether it's the military open source working group, whether it's um, even 18F, and we're starting to pull together these bands of people. And as, as we expand mission and identify areas where we all have insider threat, we all have identity management, that's formed these communities across DOD, intelligence, civilian industry, and, and I think that'll be the key. Yep, great. Sean, it's been a pleasure chatting with you today. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Absolutely, thank you. I'm Billy Mitchell with FedScoop TV. Thanks for watching.